السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Dear student of third secondary We are going to solve multiple choice questions of Chapter 1, lesson 3, transition elements Okay, let's start Question number 1 It says most of the iron found in the crust The mantle and the core of the earth exist Okay, we have here four choices In its elemental state Okay Do you think it will be element combined to sulfur in the form of hydrated oxide or combined to oxygen? Do you think what it's uh, an old information about iron? We can say that it will be combined to oxygen. It will make oxygenated or combined to oxygen. Okay, another question. Question number two. What is the chemical formula of pyrite ore? Pyrite ore means it may be in a lot of compounds or reacts with element. Okay, we have here choice number A, Fe, CO3, or iron 2 carbonate, iron 2 sulfide, iron 3 oxide, Iron 3 Okay, Fe 3 O4 Okay, here we have Four choices Do you think what pyrite ore means It reacts with sulfur So the right answer here will be Iron Fe S2 Okay, the choice number B Is the right answer Another question, question number 3 Sodrite is roasted in air Means it be heated by heating to convert it into we we want to change it okay we want to change it into feo fe3o4 fe2o3 or feoh by 2 here we have different choices here what happen if we heating if we heating we make Iron 2 oxide, Fe2O3. Okay, another question. Question number 4 here. We have roasted iron ores. What is the main property for them? Contain iron ions with half-filled D orbital are used directly in the open hearth furans to produce steel. Contain iron in the percentage, 48.5 percentage, are reduced with methane gas resulting in evolving at the end CO or carbon monoxide gas. Okay, do you think what? What happens if we make heating to roasted iron? In the case of ore, we have here all iron ions, what is a, whatever the state contain half filled orbital d okay it's a main character for iron in all cases of it another question question number five here it says that before extracting the iron from its ore the ore is strongly heated in the air with what we have here another we have here four choices carbon manganese manganese and carbon also, we will to eliminate its humidity, carbon dioxide, sulfur, and arsenic. In addition to converting, uh, converting it to what? Magnetite, limonite, iron 3 oxide, or iron 2 oxide. Into, it will produce hematite, hematite, magnetic iron oxide, or iron 3 oxide. What is the correct choices? Representing one, two, three. We have here three choices. We have here three choices. One, two, and three. We will make a ch choice between A, B, C, and D. We have here one of them will be the right answer. If we have iron in its ore, what happens if we heat it in the air? We said before that we will eliminate or convert it into what? We will remove carbon at the first, okay, and it will convert it into 
iron to oxide at the end with heating we will produce iron 3 oxide so the right answer will be number D another question question number six here it says that the temperature at the middle part of the plast furans cold cohesive zone becomes around thousand degrees Celsius at this point what will happen for the elements or reducing agent here it converted into what we have here choices for this one in the table which is absorbed by also we have iron in different state and converted it into the product of iron here what is the correct choices representing one to four we have here from one in the table here we have from one two three and four here we have all choices as we say in the last question if we start with heating at this point we will start with removing carbon dioxide okay and it will carbon dioxide will convert it into carbon monoxide at the end of heating and will be absorbed by what we used at the first iron to oxide Fe2O3 and at the end we will convert it into iron pure okay or Fe iron okay it's an easy question let's continue question number seven here it says that what it's not used in the extraction of iron from hematite ore okay we want we didn't want a substance here we didn't want it we have coke we have carbon monoxide gas methane gas sulfur trioxide gas do you think what about it okay we want we have here hematite ore and we want to get iron we said that we have sulfur trioxide don't we we don't use it we use coke or methane gas or carbon monoxide what we didn't use we have here exception sulfur trioxide okay another question question number eight here the iron produced in the plast furans is known as okay we have here choices in the column one okay another one while that is used in the oxygen converter is known as okay we have here also choices in column two another one we have that produced in electric furans known as what and which by adding a little amount of chromium it becomes what okay what is the correct choices from one to four here we have number b is the right answer we have here at the first we have in the plus furans we have cast iron cast iron used in converting oxygen and it known its name iron cast iron and produced in the electric furans it will give steel and it produced with a little amount of chromium to produce stainless steel alloy okay it is an easy question let's continue the last question of our choices today which of the following alloys contains a non-metal okay we have here brass uranium gold and steel what do you think about it we have here a non-metal non-metal mean here we have steel steel is a substance that contains a non-metal in its making alloy for it okay it's the last question of our choices today we will continue a lot of questions for this unit okay let's go thank you for joining i hope you enjoy we will continue a lot of questions